Hey, welcome back to the channel. And today, what we're gonna be doing is showing you how to do an axle flip kit. Also, take your bolt out of your lease, flip your bolt for your lineup pin, and put that axle on top of your leaf springs. Once you do that, the next video we're gonna have is gonna be putting in a C-notch after we've done our flip kit. So, we're gonna go ahead and dive right in, show you the steps. How to do a axle flip kit, putting your rear end on top of your axle, using the Beltec system, which comes with the hangers, the flip kits, and the U-bolts. First thing you wanna do is make sure you have your rear end and your frame secure. My frame is on a cart, and this rear end is right underneath my lift, which I have the rear end secured with some straps. And that's gonna hold the rear end up while I unbolt my U-bolts. So the first thing you're gonna do, you wanna make sure, of course in my case, pull your wheels off, loosen your brake lines up if need be, get these U-bolts out, these four bolts on each side, and remove your shocks. Next, I'm gonna put a little penetrating oil on my U-bolt threads and let those sit a while before trying to take those loose. Okay, once you've got your nuts loose, you can pull that bottom cap off, take off your U-bolt, you can lower your rear end down, and using some clamps, tighten it down on each side of those leaf springs real tight, and you wanna take that nut loose right there on the top of the leaf, and you wanna take it out and then pull it out through the bottom and put it in through the top. Because now that your rear end will be on the top, you want that top to be the dowel pin for the center to line up your rear end. So just take this out, flip it, put it back in. Once this nut right here has been removed, pull this bolt out, pull it out through the bottom, and then reinsert it through the top so the dowel pin is now on the top of the leaf spring. And that'll be what lines up your rear end once you sit it on top of the leaves. Okay, now that this right here is flipped around on top of your leaf, these right here are the supplied flip kit. You'll notice immediately the hoe is not centered like the original one that is welded to your rear axle, and that's because your rear axle, now it's going on top, it's going to actually be moved over so that it can stay centered. So that hole needs to go towards the front so that your axle can still be centered right there. This bolt right here is slightly pivoted. So where the rear end would have been here, now it's gonna be up here. So it's gonna be moved back further. So the hole needs to go towards the front and then you can get your rear end, raise it up. And I'm gonna slide it right over. Now slide the rear end over. I'm gonna lower it down in a position. Now them tabs right there that you see right there, those tabs have to go up and underneath the original purchase and that helps line it up. So just slide her over. And then let it down. That puts my pinion exactly where it needs to be. And it's centered, so now we're going to get the other side done, and then the U-bolts. Now you can see, of course, there's where your Belltech logo is. These horns are sitting up into the old purchase that it used to sit on. Now, the U-bolts go in the opposite direction. So they're going to go down from the top, and the plate goes on the bottom. You see right here, you want to make sure that that flip kit is sitting level right there and flush. There's no gaps, and then slide your U-bolts over the top. Now here is the supplied U-bolt that I'm using. You also have this section here. This is the lower piece. Now you gotta make sure when you put it on there that you spin it so that it's flushed centered with that frame, rear end, and leafs. Slide your U-bolts down through the top and through them holes there on both sides. Then get your supplied washer and your supplied nut, and put washers and nuts on all four. Okay, that's all it took. With them right there tightened up, the rear end is now on top of the leaves. We have seven inches of drop, which was the flip kit and the shackles. So that's all it really takes. Now this is the same on any, any vehicle that has the leaf springs and has the rear end on top or the bottom. If your truck already has the rear end on top, a lot of times all you need to do is put blocks in there and shackles and you get the same effect. 